what's up youtube it's your girl malaika aka mali aka malibu whatever you want to call me you don't know that it's me and this is malaika's flicks <laughs> of this video suggests you can get a teaching job with Dove Schools Inc which is in Oklahoma USA and I'm gonna head straight into it these are the requirements one you must have five years of teaching experience I know guys I know I know you don't have to say anything else I know but remember that if you don't have five years of teaching experience, I have other videos that I have done on school districts that are hiring with zero years of experience. So you can check those out. All right. So in addition to the five years of teaching experience, they are only hiring for STEM related subjects. And of course, as I said in the thumbnail and in the title of this video, they are given an H-1B visa. As it relates to a green card, they are willing to sponsor you or to help you to attain a green card after having worked with them for a few years. So you need to have that long-term commitment for them to see that you're really interested. Now, as my thumbnail also says, with this school district, you do not need to apply for a teaching license even when you're being hired okay um i'm not really sure how that works because they're sponsoring an h1b visa and i know usually school districts say that you need to have your teaching license in order for the h1b visa to be processed however when i spoke with hr you guys know i always do my phone calls or my emails in this case i made a phone call the hr personnel said that you do not need to have a teaching license not right away and that they would expect you to get it after about two years of being with them at least they expect you to get it at some point in time but they are well it is a charter school system and that's the reason as to why they're not requiring the teaching license that's what they told me on the phone this is something that you could further investigate for yourselves don't tell me how come I told you that you could apply to this school district without a license and then blah, 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 blah. Remember, I'm questioning that part myself, but I can only report to you what they have told me, okay? Let me just add here. It says, what is a charter school? A charter school is a publicly funded alternative to the traditional public school model. Charter schools receive public funding but operate independently of local school districts. They have greater flexibility than traditional public schools in curriculum, schedule, teacher hiring, and development allocation of resources and other areas. Based on this definition, I'm assuming that that is why they can hire you without a license. But once again, please do your further investigation before saying, I thought that I did not need a license with this school district. But either way, you would not have wasted funds. Applying is definitely free. After applying and speaking with their lawyers, you can get more information. All the best. So I wish you guys all the best of luck on that. As usual, I'm going to go through and show you guys the salary scale for this school district. I'm going to show you how to apply. I don't understand you guys, you know. Because I always show you where to go to apply and then you still go in my comment section. You still message me on Instagram and ask me, how do I apply? I don't know what else to tell you because th th this is all I can say. So follow me to this website. I'll show you how to apply the salary scale and also what the cost of living in terms of rent is looking like in that area. Let's go. All right, as usual, I'm just doing a regular Google search. So for those of you who want to know how to apply, where to go... This is all I'm doing. I'm doing a regular Google search and I'm typing in Dove Schools Inc. And I put in parentheses Oklahoma. I'm going to go ahead and select careers. I'm not going to go on the full website. I'm just going to go ahead and select careers. When we select careers, we are going to look at employment opportunities. 
when we go to apply employment opportunities, you're going to see positions for the different branches that they have. Okay, we see Dove Schools of OKC, Dove Schools of Tulsa, Dove uh, uh, open positions at Dove Virtual Academy. Guys, I can feel the questions coming asking if you can apply for the Virtual Academy. I don't know. That's my honest answer. <laughs> I do not know. And I'm still assuming that you'd still need a work visa to work with them because, you know, of taxes and all of that. So that's something you could reach out and ask for yourselves. I don't know. Um, so, you know, let's select the first one, open positions at Dove Schools OKC. Now, guys, this is a charter school. Um, they don't have uh, many schools, many openings. But remember, we're just looking for the STEM positions uh there's a well we can't apply for the subs okay i can already feel somebody asking me in my comment section if they can apply for subs all right so we have high school english teacher but we're looking for stem we see fifth grade math teach uh sorry high school math teacher biology teacher physics teacher and guys you guys know where i stand where applying to the school di districts are um is concerned like even if they say stem i say apply if you have the time so don't apply don't get you and then say i told you to apply nonetheless i'm just saying if you have the time on your hands go ahead and apply nonetheless because you never know what can happen for you okay and of course you know you guys are always asking i have such and such a choice do i qualify i am urging you all if you want to know if you qualify go on the website click on the position that you're interested in look at the um the requirements that they have laid out and you know go ahead and hit apply if you don't think you have enough information you can always reach out to hr yourselves or just apply and then ask the questions afterwards like oh my god y'all um all right so let's get out of this section and let's look at the salary schedule so let's click salary now guys i'm so excited about this i've never seen a school district with this kind of salary thing before where you could just type in you know or put in what you have and you don't have to guess or wonder you know just put in so let's say i have the minimum five years of experience see automatically it starts to load what i may be getting you know like it i really like it um let me go ahead and select okay okay i have a standard certification highest level of education let me put that i have a bachelor's degree all right so with a bachelor's degree that's just what we get in the 58 teaching area and then let's put in that we're doing math we see we it bump up you realize you guys so each thing that you put in the salary changes according to what you're looking at all right so that is it that is your potential you see what it says potential earning of course there may be other factors that they may tell you about but i wish you guys all the best on your endeavors where this school district is concerned let's go ahead and take a look at what rent in this area is looking like all right you guys know what i always do i just do a regular google search dove schools houses and apartment for rent and you see come up houses for rent near dove school science academy okay you see that it's a science academy that didn't even show on the website all right and we can see where rent for one to three bedrooms 1300 to 2850 1600 to four Ooh. <laughs> 1800 um 900 to nine what kind of upscale place this 700 dollars. that's more like it to 1655 all right so there's a range <laughs> i see some prices that look like you know the prices for us normal people but i also see some prices looking like listen where y'all going with those prices so yes, you guys have an idea as to what the rent will look like. Guys, if you're wondering what your salary may look like after tax, please check out my video on uh, taxes, teachers pay. It will give you an idea, but of course, it's different state by state, district by district. Um, but it could help to put some things into perspective for you. Make sure you check that video out. So thank you guys for watching this video i truly appreciate it remember that we are on our way to 10k subscribers look out for my video sometime this week where i'll be telling who won the prizes for the giveaway that was announced on sunday 
all right i'm excited and i'm happy that you all were able to receive my little prizes let's get to 10k so that i can give bigger and better prizes all right thank you guys for watching if you have gotten to this end of the video please hashtag in the comment section teach in oklahoma once again if you have gotten to this part of the video please hashtag in the comment section teach in oklahoma if you watch my giveaway video you would want to make sure that you comment because next time you don't know when you could be a recipient of a prize that i am giving away all right you know it's your girl malika aka mali aka malibu whatever you want to call me you don't know it's me saying i'm a